Today we're looking at some of the best free fonts that you can grab right now, but we're also going to rank them based on multiple different characteristics, and that's so you can better understand how to use these fonts. And that starts with this typeface right here, Humane. And yeah, don't worry, I've made sure every single thing is free for commercial use in today's video. Humane is an incredibly narrow sans serif typeface that comes in seven different weights, and they go from extra light all the way up to bold. Now if we come over and take a look at the characteristics, you can see it has an almost top score for versatility, and that's because there are multiple different weights for us to use, there's upper and lowercase letters, and there's numerical values as well. But what does let it down in terms of versatility is the fact that it's so narrow, and that makes it ideally only suited for headings and titles pretty much. You'd really find it difficult to use this one for body text on your designs. It's quite a serious and a loud typeface, so again it's great for headings and titles, specifically designs where you might be lacking white space and room. It is a sans serif, but it does seem kind of retro in some respects, so it doesn't seem too modern to look at. And this typeface does struggle to look luxurious, so it's probably not best for designs that do call for a kind of luxurious style typeface. Next up we have Lyco. It's only available in one weight, and we don't even have any italics. However, there are lower and uppercase letter forms and numbers too. It could be used for body text and headings pretty easily, so that does make it pretty versatile. Lyco is a very serious and an elegant typeface, and it does come across as quite luxurious. I can imagine this being used for a high-end handbag brand or something like that. It's not too loud, but also it's not too discreet. It's a really well-made and well-crafted serif typeface that you can grab right now. Next up, we have the typeface Cabinet Grotesque. This typeface is really versatile, coming in with eight different weights, lower and uppercase letter forms, along with numbers. But we also have web type options in the download folder as well, which is always nice to have, but again, there are no italics. It's a very modern and clean looking sans serif typeface, so it would be great to use for a new and emerging brand that wants to target younger audiences. It's also very legible, so it would be great for body text as well as headings. The thinner options of this could represent luxury if used correctly. For example, a modern fashion brand or a modern kind of perfume brand. But overall, it's a very versatile and a great addition to have as a graphic designer into your font library. And of course, it's free. So far in today's video, we've looked at some really great free fonts. But before we continue with those free fonts, check out a browser-based design tool for building your next website. ReadyMag isn't a mundane or average site builder. You can actually use it to animate literally anything you want on your websites with minimum effort and also no code at all. ReadyMag is really intuitive with a drag and drop style function built right into it. And now you can actually even add a custom cursor to your websites, which is really, really cool. Now you can make the cursor from anything or you can actually download some ready-made ones via ReadyMag. Obviously, typography is a hugely important part of any website, and ReadyMag has really got you covered. It offers an ever-growing collection of 5,000 free web fonts from TypeKit, from WebType, Type Today, and even Google. It also, interestingly, supports variable fonts, open type features, and the right-to-left writing. So this browser-based tool makes your websites more personal by being able to fine-tune your text layouts. To start making unique websites, you can try ReadyMag right now. Just sign up for the free plan without a credit card at all. There are also flexible plans, so you can pay the price depending on the number of projects that you want to work on and the features that you desire to use. With the freelancer plan, you can create up to five websites with a limited amount of pages and map up to three different domains on your account. Now you can also invite up to two collaborators to work on projects jointly using the collaboration function. But the juicy stuff is with the promo code Satori16. The first 50 users can try out the freelancer plan for only $16. That's all linked down below, but hey, let's find some more free fonts. The fourth free font selection is coming from the typeface Mossad. This is another sans serif typeface, but this one borders on the area of being trendy and unconventional without going full experimental. Now, as you can see on the Fs and the Rs, the form is really quite unique and a bit odd. This is coupled with the slightly narrow style that the typeface does have. Now, I would say it's very modern and it's really well made as well. It does have the potential to be allowed in heavier weights, 
and it's also quite an attention seeking style of typeface in some regards. And you can find this in nine different weights, but again, no italics. What do we have to do to get some italics around here, seriously? But yeah, this will be used for trendy, modern and not too serious designs. And typeface number five is actually something taken right from Google, and that is Sanchez. This is an interesting one because it only comes in one weight, and so obviously it's not that versatile. That being said, we do have up and lowercase letters and also numbers too. Now the reason I've added it to today's list is just because it's so damn gorgeous. For a slab serif, it really does an excellent job of looking so clean and so robust. It can easily be used on body text as well as headings and doesn't come across as overly serious. And that's due to the lowercase letters being quite round and quite approachable. It would be really awesome to have this in multiple different ways. So when you're working on a design, just ask yourself, what do you want the design to say and what do you want the audience to feel? Then you can ask the same questions about the typeface you're looking at. You can find everything in today's video linked down in the description box below, but whoa, 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 if you actually want more free fonts to use on your designs, check out the video on screen right now. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.